Yes. All right. Okay. When you come to your polling location, the first thing that you will do is check in with the polling workers. There will be clerks set up at tables at the front of the polling location. They will find your name in the poll books. You sign saying that you've appeared to vote, and they will give you a slip of paper. You take that slip of paper and you go over to what's called the judge's booth controller, which is this machine right here. The person operating the judge's booth controller will give you a secret code. That secret code will be a four-digit number. When you get your secret code, you go to the nearest voting machine and you start to vote. The first thing that you need to do is decide what language you want to use. The language is available in the East Lake machine, the voting booth, is English, Spanish, and Vietnamese. You make your selection by using the select wheel. Uh, for example, I'm speaking in English, so I'll select English. I've highlighted English, I hit enter. Then I enter my secret code. The first, the first number is zero. I use the select wheel. I highlight zero and press enter. The second number is seven. So I highlight seven and hit enter. The third number is two. So I highlight two and hit enter. The third number is three. So I highlight three and hit enter. That will bring up the ballot. When you get to the ballot, there are three different, there are four different sections that you need to pay attention to. The first section is the instructions. Read the instructions. If you have any questions, there's a there's a button on the voting machine called Help. Push it, and someone will give you a hand. Someone will come over and explain to you how the voting machine works. The next section will be straight party voting. For example, if you wanted to vote all for, for all the candidates of one party, you select that party and hit enter. If you wanted to vote for all the candidates of another party, you select that party and hit enter. Now you can change certain selections, which I'll get to in a moment. Let's assume for a moment the demonstration hat machine has the, the Texas party, the Austin party, and the Houston party. So let's just assume that I want to select the Austin party. I highlight the Austin party using my select wheel. I hit enter. If you will notice, it automatically, it automatically highlights all the candidates running for the Austin party ticket. But assume, for example, I don't want to, I don't want to vote for Michael Jackson as district judge. I can go to that particular race, and instead of voting for Michael Jackson, I can vote for Madonna, which is another choice. So in other words, what the, what the straight party ticket allows you to do is automatically select all the candidates for that party. But if you don't agree with one candidate or some candidate in particular, then you can change your vote for that particular candidate. Now, once you've done that, the third section may or may not appear on the ballot. That's for propositions or uh, constitutional amendments or things of that nature. For example, this particular ballot, the sample ballot, has hot dogs should be sold at Minute Maid Park during all Houston Astros games. And you get a chance to vote for or against that proposition. Well, me personally liking hot dogs, I'm going to vote for it. It's for the proposition, so I hit enter. When you've completed the ballot, you have a summary page. The summary page lists all the different races that appear on the ballot, and it so and it also shows who you selected. If you say, "Wait a minute, I didn't want to vote for Albert Einstein," you use the previous button. You select previous. It goes back to the ballot. 
Then you come back up here and say, no, I would prefer George Rock Washington as Justice of the Peace as opposed to uh, as opposed to Albert Einstein. You highlight George Washington, hit enter. And then you use your select wheel to go back to the ballot summary page. When you when your ballot summary page agrees with the votes that you want to cast, you'll notice in the lower left hand corner there is a red flashing light that corresponds to the cast ballot button. You push the cast ballot button and that records your vote. You'll notice that the American flag waves as you cast your ballot. At that point in time, you have done your you're completed you've completed the voting. Thank you very much. Father.